Now to a medical headline raising concern. It's about the amount of plastic particles scientists are finding in our bodies. In this case, inside the brain. Here's ABC's Lionel Moise. This morning, a new study is raising concern about microplastics after researchers found an entire spoon's worth inside samples taken from human brains. They are tiny little shards of plastic, smaller than five millimeters. They found approximately 4,800 milligrams per gram of microplastics in brain tissue. And what the researchers are saying, this amount that they found pretty much equals a standard plastic spoon. The study looked at brain samples collected in 2024, finding a 50% increase in microplastics compared to samples collected back in 2016. We use plastic every day, and the amount of plastic that we've been using as human beings and just in the environment has really been increasing over time. While the headline may sound alarming, doctors say the study of these microplastics is still in its early stages. Definitely not enough research to draw any concrete conclusions. Back in December, a study raised concerns concerned about black plastic commonly used in kitchen utensils, claiming it could expose users to dangerous levels of flame retardant. But the researchers later issued a correction, saying a math error had overstated the risk. In this study, despite the research being in its early stages, doctors say there are simple steps you can take now to reduce exposure to microplastics metal, other things that we can use to store our food. That's a great alternative to using plastic. A single use plastic container, only use it one time. And also kind of be cognizant of where you're storing plastics. Don't leave water bottles in cars that can heat up and increase your exposure to microplastics. The study also found higher levels of microplastics in brain samples from dementia patients. But again, experts say it is too early to draw any conclusions on whether plastics can be linked to dementia.